Hey guys, Mark Howe here. So today I am going to show you how to fix scooter ABS plastic fairings with 3D printing ABS. Now I ride bikes, but a while ago I bought a scooter from a family friend who had crashed it while learning to ride. Nothing serious though, thank god. Just some broken plastics and some tabs. But because I've never done this before, I thought I'd take you guys along with me. So these are the tools I'm going to be using. Some sort of rotary tool that you can use for grinding. An old soldering iron, don't use your best one. Some semi-coarse sandpaper. And some black ABS 3D printing filament. Now if you don't have 3D printing filament, you can also just cut strips of another sacrificial fairing to use those as the filler. Part 1. Basic Cracks So, as with regular welding, beveling the edges allows for better weld penetration because of the increased surface area. If you skip the step, the weld bead is more likely to just sit on top of the joint and leaves the part vulnerable to cracking again from the underside. If there is excess paint in the area, use the medium grit sandpaper to get rid of it. Now you're ready to fire up your old soldering iron and start welding. Start with an easy crack to gain some confidence and then get good at melting the base material a little bit before you add your filler plastic and just keep dabbing along like that. Too much heat and you'll burn through, too little and your parts won't be as strong and they won't stick together. On trickier cracks where you need three hands, start by either clamping the parts in place or melt the start and end of the crack together to act as tack welds. These will hold the part for you as you weld. Spiraling it the plastic from the surrounding regions in a little bit just to hold and then cooling it down rapidly. Part 2. Repairing broken tabs and studs. Now normally on broken studs you want to v-notch these as well but I found that it's far more helpful to skip that step here because it's easier to put the stud back if you know how it broke off. In one case, I couldn't get the right angle for the headlight studs, so I put the headlight back into place to line them up. This was quite helpful, so I recommend it if you face a similar problem. Part 3. Making up material So the last thing I had to tackle was how to build up material for a missing piece I didn't have. To do this, I melted ABS stitches at both ends and left them unmelted in the middle. Then, when they were cool, I would go back and melt ABS over these bridges to fuse everything together. When the bridges started to droop, I'd freeze them in place with a blast of cold air. This turned out to build up material just like new. I filled in the gap from both sides and then ironed it flat with a soldering iron. It's actually really strong, even as it's cooling down, it feels the same as the other side really. Both sides you really don't want to flex because you can feel that they're going to break. But this feels just as strong, in fact a little bit flexier than this side, which is good. Flex is good, it's brittle you don't want. And boom, just like that, that can be sanded down, body folded and painted if you were so inclined. Um, in fact, I might, might be inclined, but we'll see about that, maybe just some black rattle can spray paint. So that's it. I am pleased with how this method turned out. The parts are just as strong as new and so much quicker and easier than gluing or even drift stitching them together. So I highly recommend this method uh, to fix your bike or your scooter parts. Just make sure though that they are made out of ABS. So leave a comment on how your repair goes or if you find any other cool methods. I have been Mark Howe from Project Car and thanks for watching guys.